What's going on, everybody? This is your buddy Clyde L. Singy Bree, another hot type favorite food review, drink review, stank review, and spiritual review. Right here at Clydesdale. I Clydesdale City, I'm the host, the mayor, the owner, founder, congressman, but it all your buddy, your pal, Clydesdale. Clydesdale City Population One, where you can be number two, two. Mm -hmm. Um I was I was middle of doing a vlog last night, but somebody interrupted, Let's so I'm starting over. We're in the middle of discussing the truth of Easter. Now, last week, I wasn't feeling so good. I was really sick. Leprechaun. For two days straight. Um, of course, you know, Mrs. Mayor there. Hi. Um, yeah, I was really bad so last week. It wasn't yep. my week. I was in a really bad shape. Yep. Um, last, last time we talked about, this guy's a true meaning of Easter, we talked about the arrest. Now we're going to talk about the rest of the whole thing. Um, I'm talking about the betrayal and the punishment, the ultimate punishment. And the recertified resurrection from the punishment. So... Let's just jump into our minds and get our head cleared up so we can start talking about it. Which means I talk, you listen. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, anyways, um, is well, you know, the whole entire arresting. Now, he's really got a bad man. God's son really got a bad man. What I just... Don't get about these people. So, I mean, he, he got spit on. He got yelled at. He got ripped it on his back, his chest, face, arms, legs, punched in the gut, wearing the real spiky crown of thorns. Now, I'm not talking about the plastic. I'm talking about the real heavy wooden thorns. They wrap around the shape of a crown. And push it right on his skull. You can feel that pain. Bleeding. Suffering. Now when he, he got stripped down to hardly anything. He's wearing basically your old fashioned underwear. Basically what, that's what he's wearing. Underwear to cover himself up. Mm -hmm. And I mean it's been really brutal. It's been really devastating. When he first came through the town of Jerusalem, his hometown, everybody loved him. Everybody was happy. Now, a few years later, everybody just starts spitting at him, cursing at him, yelling at him, and throwing rocks at me. And he had it really bad. Why? Because of the ultimate price. That he's paying for. For these sinners. Us. I mean he's carrying this. Heavy. Heavy wooden cross. Over his shoulder. And just halfway through the town. He just. Gave up. There's all the bleeding. The sweating. The scars. The drooling. Is, is really bad. He was so weak, mainly from all, he lost a lot, a lot of blood. Now, I'm not talking about milk gallon sized blood. I'm talking about ice cream pails of blood he's pouring out. And, I mean, you gotta remember, he's got whipped by a kendo stick. He got whipped even harder with a leather strap, um... With the spikes at the end. With the nails driving. Ripping his flesh from his side. His stomach. His back. I mean he can imagine how much pain he's gone through. Even way worse than that. Then the guy just came out. Of nowhere in the middle of the crowd. And he only know this guy. He decided to help. Jesus. Carrying the cross. 
sit cross with two other people, one from each side of the cross, carrying this heavy, heavy wooden cross. And I'm talking about real wood made out from that is pure cross. That will actually cause splinters in your hands, in your arms, in your body, especially the back. You carry it in your chest, you know you're going to have a lot of splinters to pick out. Yeah, I mean, it is horrible, horrible way to live. Um, but he made the ultimate price. And once he arrived, once he arrived right <laughs> on that mountain, I think 12 or 13 guards, I believe. Something like that, yeah. Decided to drive these heavy metal iron spikes called nails about this thick about yay high from where my head is to my mouth is very sharp driving in his arms and his feet now some people think that they use four nails no 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 they use three one on each of his wrists and one in his feet crossing over and then they decided to do even more devastating took the exact same hammer whack his knees to hear the bone crush can you imagine hear the crushing of the kneecaps yeah I can imagine and then took the little pallet little plank of wood shaped into a triangle Nail it right there and then nail his feet to prop up his legs a little bit, his knees sticking out. Busted and bleeding caps, even worse. He is so bad. Looks like um, you're sacrificing a lamb. Mm -hmm. Even worse, devastating that. Yeah. And he is a true lamb. And remember, he is a true lamb, he's true sacrifice. After he lift him up, took a lot of ropes wrapped around on each side of the cross and a lot, a lot of, of men to lift them on top it, it of the... It took him a lot of people to lift him up. Exactly, right into the hole. And there are two other guys that is not suffering as much pain as he is, but they're suffering because they're thieves. One thief on the left side, the other thief on the right side. And once he lifts him up, you see the smoke. He does smoke dust and hear the loud thunder right in the hole. Kaboom! Right there. You're loud. Loud, too. Very loud. I know you're loud. And let me watch it. After his saying, so the last thing he said was, Father. Forgive them for what they have not known. I am the ultimate price. I am the true sacrifice. Yeah, it is finished. Sacrifice. Father, it is finished. And what he means by that is his work has done here on earth, but he's not done yet. He gets still a lot more work up there with his father, God. And and then the teardrop, one teardrop struck down on that earth, thundering in the sky, dark, pitch black, lightning clouds, shook, shook that ground. It feels like a major earthquake. The, the high priest looked at each other and they're like, what have we done? We have sacrificed and beaten our Lord and Savior. We should have never done that. So we felt so bad. We are so ashamed. Now we had to suffer to watch him suffer. Bleeding from the cross. Bleeding from his wrist. From the nails right on the ground. Every single drop of blood. The ears drip, drip, oh. drip, drip, drip. Took 
the guards took this side and decided to gamble. I'm like, old fashioned gamble, like, okay, who's going to stab him on the side to see if he's actually dead? Who's going to stab him? He finally rolled the dice and this stabbed him right here on the side with the spear, long handle, wooden, sharp spear made out of metal. Stabbed him, blood gush right on his on the guard's face, burning his eyes like hot sand boiling, screaming in pain. While the devil himself in hell, in hell, screamed in anger, in anger. While God up there is smiling like he's coming home. And not to you. He's coming home to me. You think he's done. You're way off track. So I was just, wow, can you imagine all that? Within 12 day period. 12 day period. Can you imagine that? But on the third day. After he died. He rose up. From the tomb. Didn't know where his body was. It disappeared. I know where. Just, all you see is a cloth. Cloth on that rock. But some people just step back a little bit. Let's just rewind a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? In three days he was gone. Some people believe that he went to hell. Some people believe he went to heaven and came back. I believe he went to hell for three days to take the key. Take the key away from Lucifer. To unlock the gates of heaven that he stole. He stole. Can you believe that? Three days walking around in hell. Finding him. Taking the key back to heaven's gate. To unlock it. Come back to earth. On the third day. With the key. In his hand. In his hand. He doesn't know. That people doesn't know. Talk to his only disciple. That he gave him a test. Before his arrest. Betraying him. Four times. Before the rooster crows. Four times. He said, I do not know what Jesus. I don't know who you're talking about. Saying that four times. Around the people. Then when he came back. He looks that same guy and like, look, buddy, you know, I love you. But I ask you four times, do you know me? Do you love me? And those four times, he looked at me and says, you know, I love you. I know you. You know, I just love you. He said that four times. Four times. You want to make sure that he actually truly means that he loves him. He shed his tears. His blood, his body, his sacrifice, his holy water for you. For you, you, you. I see you, gentleman in the green coat. I see you, little boy in Power Ranger shirt. I see you, little girl in a Barbie doll shirt. I see you, old man that is wearing that dusty old hat. Every one of you, he has sacrifice, sacrifice. Every one of you. Now I want to take this time. Take this time. To pray for you. Now if you don't know. Lord Jesus Christ is your personal savior. Please. Come and pray with me. And repeat these words. Dear Heavenly Father. I know you paid the ultimate price. For all of our sins. You always say, I hate the sinners, but I love every one of you. Please forgive me. I sinned a lot, and I'm still sinning now. 
Please forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry. I commit my life, my soul, my spirit to rejuvenate my rebirth to you. My personal Savior, my personal Heavenly Father, please forgive me. Love you, and I am really am deeply sorry. He has shed your blood for me. He has shed your stripes for me. He has shared, he has sacrificed the ultimate price for me. I give my life and my spirit to you, O oh Lord. Thank you for sacrificing for me. Heavenly Father's name, amen. If you have prayed that, I congratulate you. Yeah, now you need to start to truly understand and truly believe that you meant every word. And remember, praying with God every day. Spend a time, spend alone time with God. Even if you're busy stuff, take that good twenty to thirty minute talk with God. I don't care if you're busy with your wife. I don't care if you're busy with your kids. I don't care if you're busy with your job. You have that thirty minute spare. Go in a private, go in a private room, bedroom, living room. Somewhere is quiet. It's just you and God alone. No distraction. No wife yelling. No kids screaming. No mother-in-laws. No, nobody. Just you and him alone for thirty short minutes. Talk to him. Talk to him. If you could talk to him for 30 minutes every day, that'd be great. Because you need that 30 minutes. 30 minutes is not much. So, I want to say thank you. Happy Easter or happy resurrection. Spend time with your family. It's not about the Easter bunny. It's not about... The Easter Bunny with the chickens and the eggs. It's about the ultimate true Easter. And what is it? What? What is the true meaning of Easter? Jesus. Resurrection of Jesus. Yep. We love every one of you. And happy Easter. Yeah, and remember, come back to Clydesdale City. I'm the host, Mayor, the owner, founder, congressman, above it all. Your buddy, your pal, Clydesdale. Clydesdale City, population one, where you can be number two. Don't forget, the eye of America waits upon you. As good or bad as I pay attention to the news. And always remember, fly high and be brave.